Good morning, and welcome to our Mass from the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you and your loved ones are in good health. Please check our parish website for updates and for links to devotions and other information, as well as how to continue to financially support the parish as we journey through this virus pandemic. Thank you for your continued support. Our presider today is Archbishop Hunt, and our entrance chant is number 563 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Sing a New Song. and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. I am offering my Mass today for the pose of the soul of James Pike, and I know we all bring many intentions and prayers to the Mass. Uh, I invite you, if possible, to also remember in your prayers today Father Steve Courtney, a priest of this diocese, who today celebrates his 15th anniversary of the priestly ordination. Pray for him and for God's continued blessings upon his ministry. Also, if possible, I would invite you to pray in a special way for God's guidance for our Archdiocesan Presbyteral Council. Uh, this afternoon we meet, and one of the main topics on our agenda today will be looking at what we as church uh, should do as we move as a province into Alert Level 3 next week. Uh, are there ways that we can better serve the people without putting them at risk. Uh, what's God calling us to in terms of ministry at this time of pandemic? That we may worthily bring to God all the prayers and petitions that we have today, we pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, what sort of persons should you be, waiting for and earnestly desiring the coming of the day of, the, of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will, meet, will melt with fire. But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. You, therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawless and lose your own stability, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number 165 in the Catholic Book of Worship.
Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and some Herodians were sent to Jesus to trap him in what he said. And they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, Why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see it. And they brought him one. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Jesus said to them, Give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, so much for getting out of paying taxes. Give to the emperor what belongs to the emperor and to God what belongs to God. Simply said, uh, great wisdom, uh, not always easy to carry out. Uh, Today the church celebrates the memorial of the martyrs Marcellinus and Peter who uh, died in the early 4th century for their faith. They gave up their lives out of respect for God's, uh, for the honor that they owed God rather than the emperor. I was mentioning at the beginning of Mass that uh, today our Presbyterial Council meets, and we look at, okay, alert level three, what what should we do? How, How do we spiritually support the people without putting them at greater risk? Uh, What is the government asking of us? And, And the government's trying to be wise in this. How do we wisely work with them? Not always an easy situation, not challenging, trying to weigh the different, um, the different values, uh, the different needs. Uh, how do we serve God in the way that he wants us to? We are a, a religion that believes that faith and reason are not contradictory, but rather are complementary. We just celebrated Pentecost a feast in which we, we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming to us with his gifts. 
the gift of fortitude, courage, the gift of piety, reverence, the gift of wonder and awe, fear of the Lord, but also the gifts of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and counsel. Gifts that deal with reason. Reason working with faith to serve the Lord. In our first reading today, Peter says, while we wait for the new heaven and new earth, we should strive to be found at peace without spot or blemish, growing in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord. As we continue in our Mass today, we ask the Lord to help us to do that. As individuals, as a society, we particularly ask for that gift for our leaders, our, our, our spiritual and our, our, our civil leaders, uh, that we might know how best to serve the Lord while here on earth, how best to give to him what is his and to give to the world what is the world's. God bless you. Recognizing our need of God's guidance and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, let us bring to the Lord now our prayers and petitions. We begin by praying for our religious and civil leaders that they may be open to God's guidance and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, that they may lead us well. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that each one of us will be open to God's guidance, that we may use faith, that we may Live with faith and use reason in living our faith. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the situations of conflict and anger and hurt in our world today. We pray for God's peace, for a just peace, and a peace that brings with it a service of, of the Lord through the love of one another. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering, and for those who seek to assist them. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven, and that God's consolation may be given to those who grieve their passing. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment to add our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. There as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, be your unworthy servant, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Marcellinus and St. Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. in God's goodness, let us pray for the coming of his kingdom using the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion chant is number 601 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Gather us together.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning chant is number 644 in the Catholic Book of Worship. O God, our help in ages past. 